Well, hello everybody and welcome to this episode of G-Bear Homesteading the Desert. And I have to say that this is the last episode of G-Bear Homesteading the Desert. Well, don't get all upset. The only reason I say that is because it's a new year, so I'm going to have a new title coming on pretty soon. I'm still trying to work it out as exactly what the new title will be, but uh, you'll recognize me. Anyway, we got a storm across the valley right now. The mountains are all socked in. I was watching it snow there earlier, and right now they're probably still getting snow. Um, we're supposed to have a storm that comes in tonight, goes through tomorrow. Anywhere from a half to an inch and a half of rain. You can see all the way around. It's all clouded in and the wind just recently picked up here and I'm glad of that. You can see my turbine blowing, my flag is blowing. I was up on the roof today, this roof, and I left the ladder here so I can show you what I got done this morning. And I got the tar paper on and I got a seal on the uh, joint between the two tar paper so the wind won't lift it. And I got my starter roll on there already and I put my upper flashing on. I usually don't put that on until last but I wanted to make sure I didn't have water going down behind there and causing any damage. So I put that on there and I'll just put another Z, Z flash over the top of it when I'm done. All right, so I, I wanted to show you that. Everything else is holding up well here. And uh, while I was on the roof, I checked, make sure everything was tight and kosher and uh, my antenna was fine. Well, I noticed that my uh, turbine has some oil around the base of it. So uh, apparently it's been taking a beating up there in the high winds and we've had a lot of those. And uh, the weather has been holding me back from doing my videos, but uh, we're getting back to it now. All right, over here, I got my small rock crusher. And uh, this one is great for uh, smaller rocks like, uh, well, let's say like something like this here. You know, even a little bit larger. You drop, drop them in and then you go in with this and you pound them down and then uh, you got crushed rock okay then you can put that in the pan and pan it out and see what's in it all right so i'm going to be making a bigger one of these um actually it's going to have a six inch inside diameter on the pipe and i'll have a probably a 16 by 16 plate on the bottom and then my um, slide hammer that goes on the top here will be a solid piece and I'll temper it in the fire to make it last longer and not mushroom out on me and then I'll uh, I'll show you that when I get it done all right some of the other things I did was I found all my classifiers and uh, you can see them here this is all different size classifiers and um, this is my, my big inspection unit because sometimes my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. This is a super fine here. So this is nice for taking the final dust out and uh, see what's underneath there. That's the uh, next one, grade up right there. And then um, the black one is the next grade up and then the silver one. And those used to fit in my high rocker. The guy who stole my high rocker forgot to grab them. But uh, all right, then here, I have this classifier for, to get the, uh, to break it down, take the bigger stuff out. And that goes down into this classifier and that gets the smaller, finer stuff that goes down into my pan. And then I can start panning it out. All right. And I wanted to get that across to you because uh, I've got some diggings here and I've got more coming, especially with this rain. I'm hopefully... If the rain comes down, I'm going to grab an umbrella and venture out so I can show you the stream flowing if it comes down that hard. Uh, it is really getting cold out now that it's, uh, everything is overcast. But it was overcast when I got up this morning, so who knows? It could be one of those bypass rains that never gets me, or uh, it could be one of those uh, torrential rains that floods the whole area. All right, I also made this up today. Um, this is a four foot handle on there 
And the reason I did that was because I go in through that back door, the back hatch of the chicken coop there uh, to clean out. And then instead of having to walk all the way around to get to their inside feeder, I can put some uh, scratch in this can. Then I just reach inside and I just pour it right into their inside trough feeder. And uh, that saves me some extra time when I'm cleaning out the coop. And I tried it, it works fine. That's about it for um, the new stuff. Uh, let's see what else did I have. Uh, I did put the ATV under cover because uh, I wanted to make sure that the seat doesn't get wet until I get to reupholster it. You can see how the, sh the tarp got shredded here. My water barrel got blown over. And with this wind blowing, it's uh, not worth the effort of trying to put it back together again. So when the weather breaks, I'll be taking that tarp down and uh, we'll start over. Uh, I'm gonna end up putting two by sixes all the way along both uh, containers and then two by six um, joists or, or roof rafters going across. And that does slope down from the orange one to the blue one. It's that six inch drop. And I'll, uh, I'll be roofing that in and then tarring it in and sealing the joints between the containers. And uh, then I can catch the rain off of all of that. And I'll have 40 feet of gutter up over here. And speaking of gutter, I did put gutter up on the uh, back porch here, and you can see my little uh, innovation here. It basically, it's just a piece of uh, three quarter inch electrical conduit with a compression fitting. I drilled that through into the, uh, um, the gutter and put a double lock nut, one on the bottom, one on the top. Then it runs on a slant down here and pokes right through into that one and it'll help fill this barrel. All right, well, I'm gonna to have to uh, cut this short so that I can uh, start buttoning down the hatches here and getting ready for the rain. I think I'll go in and uh, get myself something to eat because I haven't had any lunch yet and hope my TV's still picking up because that's uh, rocking the antenna pretty good there. <laughs> well, every now and then on some of the San Diego channels, when it rocks like that, it'll cut them out for a second and come back in again. But uh, I'm going to end up putting guy wires on that like I did for the turbine so that it doesn't blow around so much. All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back. And uh, anybody has a uh, suggestion for a new um, title for my channel, uh, give me um, a comment. Leave a comment down below. Um, after you give me a thumbs up, don't forget to do that. And... If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. I'm a little over 1,300. I think I had 1,313 uh, Mockingbird Lane. Uh, 1,313 this morning. Um, I'm headed for 5,000, and uh, let's see if we can't get there. G-Bear, signing off. <laughs>